YouTube, this is our tutorials, and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create an invisible shield um, that uh, protects the water or uh, protects the text from getting hit by the water. And it's going to be uh, a real flow and Semaphore D tutorial. That's what we're going to be using. Uh, so let's open up Semaphore D. And once we open it up, I'll explain to you guys how to how it actually works, what I mean by it. So if we create a text, uh, mo graph, mo text, uh, what we're gonna have is we're gonna have uh, liquid uh, kind of going into uh, trying to hit the text, but it's gonna be protected by a shield, uh, by an invisible shield. And I thought that was just pretty cool. You can uh, create a cool effect with that. So let's edit the text. Let's type in, you can type in whatever you like. Whatever. Um, doesn't really matter what the text looks like. Just select any font, anything. Uh, yeah, there we go, any font. Increase the depth, caps, fill it cap, fill it cap. It doesn't matter if you're not following me on what I'm doing with the text, it doesn't really matter because um, I'm gonna be focusing on other on the other effect in this um, tutorial. Okay, uh, now let's create a sphere. Let's move the sphere or actually let's select the text and go to object and align change that to middle okay and the sphere move it into the middle of the text also and move it up so that so that it covers the text okay there we go. Let's increase the number of segments on the sphere to 70. Okay. Um, now, you you will need a plugin for this. You will need the RealFlow uh, Cinema 4D plugin to export and import into uh, between Cinema 4D and RealFlow. So you can download that on my website. The link to my website is on my channel. But if you have the plugin, if you installed it, uh, go to plugins, real flow, then uh, real flow SD exporter, and select the sphere. That's all we want is the sphere. Okay. Then select the file path where you want to export it. I'll just export it to desktop and choose a file name. Okay, and save. And select the number of frames and uh, then you're ready to go. You're ready to export. When you are ready to export, hit export. Okay. Now let's minimize this and open up Simo or open up RealFlow. Okay, let's create a new project. Uh, name your project. Okay, um, then choose a uh, file path for it. Uh, in, in this case, it's users, Viper scenes. And you, ne you will need to remember the file path. It's very important that you remember the file path. So once you have the file path and the project name, uh, hit create a new project. Okay, now let's go to import object. 
go to desktop and find the file that you exported from Cinema 4D. Okay, I kind of spelled that wrong, but don't mind that. So yeah, once you find it, select it and hit open. And we have our sphere right where we need it. Okay, now let's um, let's create an emitter. So go to the emitter menu, which is the blue three blue dots and select the type of emitter you like it doesn't matter for this tutorial what kind of emitter preferably it would be a circle but it's up to you okay so once you have the emitter right in here um, select it and hit W on the keyboard and move it uh, to the side of the sphere okay and uh, to enlarge it hit R on the keyboard and drag these lines to enlarge it okay and hit E on the keyboard and turn it you can hold shift that helps but doesn't really matter okay so now we have the emitter pointing at the sphere okay uh, so now select the emitter and go to uh, particles menu node param parameters and particles tab and here um, select resolution let's put that to 4 and it makes the quality of the liquid better the higher the number viscosity I usually put it to 2.5 which is more like water okay then V random let's put that to uh, 0.5 all right now let's uh, let's create a mesh so go to show mesh menu and select particle mesh render kit okay and the emitter should be included in the mesh render kit so select mesh rend particle mesh render kit um, and go to mesh and then polygon size change that to 0 0.03 and that makes the polygon smaller and which means that uh, quality is going to be much better all right uh, and then select filters and uh, select yes and relaxation let's put that to 0 0.7 okay now we can uh, we can simulate and uh, create meshes for this so when you're ready hit the simulate button and just wait for it to simulate and create meshes I will just stop this tutorial and I'll be back when it's done. Alright, um, I just stopped it there because we don't really need to go any further. Uh, so as you can see the liquid is hitting the uh, the sphere and it go is going around the sphere. Okay, um, you can keep going uh, more like render it farther so that you get a full render, but I'm just going to stop it here. Okay, so I'll just save this project just in case. And um, 
yeah now we can go into sima 4d and load this mesh we can close real flow if you want to close it okay um, now in sima 4d go to plugins real flow real flow mesh importer and select the real flow mesh importer in the objects menu and select the file path go to where you saved the project this in this case it's computer HPC and users Viper scenes and find it there invisible shield that's what I named it and then go to when once you open the folder the project folder uh, open up meshes and select either frame 2 or 3 it usually works better okay and now if you play it the the liquid should be simulated okay so it stopped right there I didn't render anymore so it disappears but now if we if we delete the sphere uh, the liquid is gonna go around it around the text so that looks kinda cool um, it just it's a pretty cool effect in my opinion and if you wanna put a material on the liquid you can put any material you want you can even put a shiny material so if we create a new material in the materials uh, menu here and double click on the new material material you created and uh, go to reflection check that off and uh, change the texture to Fresnel and if you put it on here it'll look pretty cool it'll look uh, it'll have reflections and if I just quickly create a plane and put it over over the scene and make it larger and create another material and uh, select luminance on the new material and then put it over the plane and if I go to render settings effect ambient occlusion global illumination um, air and dense catch to cast examples low record density low and if I render it it's gonna look really cool um, it's gonna be shiny kinda like mercury if you know what that is it's a uh, liquid metal so yeah thank you guys for watching Please thumbs up the video, please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for um, all the support you've shown me uh, lately for the last few months. I've been getting lots of feedback, lots of support. Thank you guys um, and have a nice day.